Hello everyone, today we will discuss the TSE set previous year questions of chemistry which came in 2020. And the first question is the electronic configuration of Na plus and the options were 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s0, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. Actually, the sodium atom consists of 11 electrons and the atomic number is 11 but it becomes in a place on losing one electron so here it only has 10 electrons so here the configuration which has 10 electrons is option C 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s0 and the answer is option 3 Next question, number of sigma and pi bonds present in nitrogen molecule and the options were 1 sigma bond, 1 pi bond, 2 sigma bond, 1 pi bond, 2 sigma bond and 2 pi bonds, 1 sigma bond and 2 pi bonds and the answer is 1 sigma bond and 2 pi bonds. Nitrogen molecule share 2 electrons but 6 electrons will part in bond formation. One is the sigma one and two other are pi bonds. Next question: What is the oxidation number of Mn in KMnO4? And the options were plus seven, plus six, minus seven, minus six. And the answer is plus seven. And the answer is plus seven. Here you can go through the answer. Actually, the aggregation number of the potassium and oxygen were plus 1 and minus 2. Here, we assume that uh, manganese uh, as X and by writing oxidation number of K plus, oxidation number of N plus, Mn plus, 4 into oxidation number of O, that equals to 0. By substituting all this, we get X equals to plus 7. So, oxidation number of Mn is plus 7. And the next question is, Find the molarity of the solution which contains 20 grams of sodium hydroxide in 100 ml solution and the options were 5m, 2m, 1m and 0.5m. Let me solve this. Actually, weight by gram molecular weight into 1 by V in liters equals to molarity. Here the weight is 20 grams. And the gram molecular weight of NaOH is 40. 20 by 40 into 1 by and he has given 100 ml solution but the volume here is in liters. Convert 100 ml into liters that equals to 0 0.1. Therefore, we get 21s are 22s are and 1 by 10 here it becomes 10 as 1 by 10 reciprocal 2 1s are 2 5s are and the answer is 5 molarity and the next question is equivalent weight of sulfuric acid is he has given the sulfuric acid and he is asking about the equivalent weight and the options were 98 grams 49 grams 2 grams 100 grams um, here we get 98 grams as gram molecular weight but here we need gram equivalent weight gram equivalent weight equals to gram molecular weight by acidity or basicity as it, as it consists of acidity 98 by 2 it becomes 49 and the answer is 49 grams Next question is, which of the following is not a buffer solution? And the options were CH, COOH plus CH3COO, NA, NH4Cl plus NH4OH, NOH plus NaCl, CH3COOH plus CH3COOK. And these were the options and the answer is NaOH plus NaCl. And the answer is NaOH plus NaCl. Next question. In this question, he has given the two statements and he was asking about which statements were correct. In the first statement was, ionic product of water is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 14. And the sta second statement was, 
pH value of neutral solution is 7. And the options were both statements are incorrect. Both statements are correct. Statement A is correct, B is incorrect. Statement A is incorrect, B is correct. But we know that the ionic product of water is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 14. At the same time, the neutral solution of pH value is 7. The both statements were correct. So the option 2 is correct. Next question. What is the pH of 10 to the power of minus 3 MHCl solution? And the options were 3, 10, 10 to the power of minus 3, minus 3. Here, we will calculate pH equals to minus log 10 to the power of minus 3. So, we get the answer as 3. Option 1 is correct. And let's get into the next question. Sorry. Ah, next question. I, again, he has given the two statements. One is flux plus slag equals to gang. And the second statement tells that flux plus gang equals to slag. Op the options were both statements are correct. Both statements are sorry. First, first option were both statements are incorrect. Next one, both statements are correct. Next one, statement A is correct. B is incorrect. And the final one, statement A is incorrect. B is correct. But we know that flux plus gang equals to slag. But flux plus slag is not equals to gang. So statement B is correct here. Sorry. Statement B is correct. Statement A is not correct. So let's get into the options. And the answer is statement A is incorrect. B is correct. The EM of, of the following cell PT H2 HCl solution uh, AGCl AG is given that the next question the mm of the following cell he has given a cell reaction here and that he is stating that the emf were plus 0 0.22 0 0.222 volts of e a, agcl or ag and the options were plus 0 0.222 volts plus 0. minus 0 0.222 volts plus 0.44 volts minus 0.44 volts the answer is plus 0.222 volts answer is plus 0.22 volts next next question is standard reduction potential of zinc is and the options were minus 0.76 volts plus 0.76 volts plus 0.44 volts plus 0.642 volts and the answer is minus 0.76 volts and the answer is minus 0 0.76 volts. Next question. Which of the following is a primary factor influence on the rate of corrosion? And the options were pH, temperature, polarization of electrode, nature of the material. If you look into this, there are number of, uh, these all options increases the rate of corrosion. But he is asking about the primary factor. And the answer is, primary factor is according to the nature of metal. How the nature of metal decides the rate of corrosion? So option 4 is correct. Next question. Formation of rust on iron is an example of and the options were chemical corrosion, electrochemical corrosion, liquid metal corrosion, galvanic corrosion and the answer is electrochemical corrosion. Everyone thinks that is a chemical corrosion but it undergoes electrochemical equation and uh, it leads to electrochemical corrosion. So answer 2 is correct. Option 2 is correct. Don't make mistake that putting uh, chemical corrosion will lead to wrong answer. Next question. Impressed voltage method is an example of cathodic protection, anodic protection, metal coating, organic coating. And the answer is cathodic protection. Option 1 is correct. Next question, indicate the right chemical equation for the removal of temporary hardness of water. And the options were CaHCO32 juice rise to CaCO3 plus CO2 plus H2. And the next option were Na2Z plus MgSO4 plus, uh, sorry, gives rise to MgZ plus Nu2SO4. And the next option is Cl2 plus H2O gives rise to HCl plus HClO. 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಟು ಝೆಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಎ ಝೆಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದ ಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಕಾಸಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಷಿಯಮ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಮ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನೇಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ಎ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಓ ತ್ರಿ ಟಿ ಇನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಕ್ಲರ್ಕ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪಿ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಕ್ಲರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಕ್ಲರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಕ್ಲರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫೈನಲ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಕ್ಲರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಒನ್ ಪಿ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಇಂಟು ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಒನ್ ಪಿ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಕ್ಲರ್ಕ್ ಬೈ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಇಂಟು ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಪಿ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಇನ್ ಈಕ್ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಸಿ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ವಿಚ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ ಲೀಟರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಪರ್ ಲೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಮಿಲಿಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಿಲಿಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿಲಿಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮಿಲಿಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ವೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ವೇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ here it should be 29.2 and the options were 30 mg 90 mg 25 mg and 20 mg by solving it we get and the answer is 20 mg by solving it we get 20 mg next question which of the following statement is false in addition polymerization polymer molecule weight rises steadily through the reaction addition polymerization requires the presence of double bond in monomer in addition polymerization growth of chain is at one active center no by product is formed in addition polymerization here he is asking about the false statement and the option 3 is the false statement next question which catalyst is used in the preparation of bakelite and the options were benzoyl peroxide isobutylene with tiCl4 acidic or alkaline metal chloride and the option 3 is correct acidic or alkaline is used in the preparation of bakelite as a catalyst next question which rubber is used for preparing gloves and aprons and the options were bonaise rubber neoprene rubber butyl rubber silicon rubber and the answer is neoprene rubber option 2 is correct next question which of the following is not a character of a good fuel options were the fuel must burn with a moderate velocity it should possess low ignition temperature it should have the highest pyrometric effect it should possess high calorific value Yes, he was asking about not the characteristics of a good fuel. The first one, third, fourth options were the characteristics of a good fuel. But the second uh, option is it should possess low ignition temperature. Option 2 is correct. Actually, it should possess high ignition temperature. Next question is... He is asking about the match the following and choose the right answer. As given uh, left side was the different spheres and right side it's for its functions. Actually the atmosphere contains a life saving organ uh, oxygen. And the hydrosphere
Next question. The permissible level of poisonous pollutant in atmosphere is known as gaseous pollutant, aerosol pollutant, threshold limit value, biological contaminant. And the answer is threshold limit value. And the answer is threshold limit value. Next question. Which pollutants form smog that limits the visibility of roads? And the options were carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons, sulfur oxides and hydrocarbons, peroxyacetyl nitrates, nitrogen oxides and hydrocarbons. Everyone think that it was option 3 pan but the answer is nitrogen oxides and hydrocarbons. That's it for today guys. If you feel this information is useful, please do like, share and subscribe.